hi everyone welcome back to our channel code for tech solutions today in this video we are going to see how to upgrade version of mariadb in exam control panel so before we go ahead let us see when this error will occur so i have this python project now i am trying to execute this uh, make migration command using python and if you see at the very bottom you can see the expected version of MariaDB is 10.5 or later and whereas it has found version 10.4.32 this is the current version now let me show you by opening the PHP MyAdmin here you can enter the root uh, username and password whatever username and password you have given and this is the interface for PHP MyAdmin and here you can see server version it's a 10.4.32 whereas the expected version is 10.5.10.5 uh, or later so this is our error and current version is 10.4.32 and expected is 10.5 or later so let us see how we can upgrade the current version to the expected version so first of all we need to take the backup of uh, the data so to take the backup of the data we have uh, number of approaches now first of all uh, we can go it here and here we have this shell we can open this shell and uh, we we can use the mysql dump command so and we can type this command basically this is the mysql dump it, it will take the backup of all the databases into some SQL file. So here we need to enter our username, password, and we need to mention all databases. And here it will actually finally uh, create the backup for all databases in this SQL file. So this is all database backup SQL. So here it will ask for the password you need to enter. Now here ideally it should not show any error, but right now it is showing. But uh, let it be. So let us see if it has, it has created the backup. Yes, you can see it has created the backup for us. If you open this uh, file in notepad, you can see it has all the databases like this is the candidate master. It has customer DB. And uh, this is the customer master database. And it has employee master and various other databases. Now, if you want to check, we have all these employee master, candidate master, and uh, like uh, the all these databases which we have seen there is presented here. So it has taken the backup in SQL file. Now we have another approach as well to take the backup. So before that, let me close all these. let me close this interface as well fine now let us first go to our uh, physically physical location of exam con exam control panel and this is the physical location and this is our mysql folder okay so first of all what we can do we can rename it to old fine now in order to upgrade uh, this version, first of all, we need to take the latest version or 10.5 or later version of MariaDB. So for that, we need to go to, uh, like we need to download the MariaDB. We can open the link from here and you can click on this first link. Now here you can see uh, we have uh, MariaDB versions this is the all the latest versions now we can see which is the appropriate for us like we can take a 10.5 or later any version so let us select this one 10.11.10 .10. and here we need to select the windows operating system and here our architecture and for package type we can select chip file and we can click on download folder so once we click on download folder it will start downloading so i have already downloaded this for us so this is our folder which I have downloaded and I have extracted it to it here. Okay. So right now this is our extracted folder. Now here 
what we can do we can rename this to mysql fine now this is our one folder and we have already uh, like uh, taken the backup of our exam mysql which we have made it old folder So this is our old folder, which is it here, and this is our new folder, MySQL. Okay. So now what we can do, we can uh, copy this MySQL folder first and paste it inside exam folder. You can see it has create uh, the it has uh, copied successfully. Now next thing what we can do like uh, we need to open this folder. Now we can open it into new window. Fine. And we have our MySQL folder right here left side we can open that and from our MySQL old folder we can copy backup and script and paste it here next uh, we can copy all the bat files like this is batch all the batch files we can copy and paste it it here fine here we need to create one data folder and uh, whatever backup is there inside this old folder we can copy all these folders and add into this data folder next thing like uh, we need to go to uh, bean folder and we can copy this is our my ini we can copy this and pin put into the this bean file fine now let us see uh, let us open the exam control panel let us see how it works we can start it okay. and we can click on admin button to so that it will open the php my admin interface we need to enter the username and password you can see we have these many databases the version is updated to the expected one but uh, we need to take our earlier data into this one so what we can do we can go to our old database mysql old and from here we can go to our data folder and here we have all the data like let us see uh, we can copy a couple of databases from here you can copy all the databases which you want and uh, we can simply paste into the our actual mysql folder inside which we have data folder inside that we need to paste it so that it will reflect into the ui now we have added customer master and candidate master let us check how it uh, shows yes we can see it is showing the databases which we have just added so likewise you can add your earlier databases to the new mysql data folder and you can see all those reflecting it here so that's it about today's video so i hope you must have enjoyed this uh, so uh, thank you so much for watching this please like and subscribe and share the same thank you so much for watching this